Long known as America's favorite pastime, baseball is as popular as ever. Fans of the sport not only enjoy watching, but across the country, people of all ages are playing baseball and softball, continuing the traditions of our nation's beloved sport. It's called America's pastime, but it, believe it or not, it's played in over 122 countries. Millions and millions of people play baseball. Baseball is a team game, nine against nine. The most important person on this nine and the most important person on this nine is the pitcher. They're the leaders of the team. It is said that the game of baseball is 90% pitching. That's how important the pitcher is. The difference between a good pitcher and a bad pitcher is practice, effort, and the will to succeed. Baseball, to me, is a passion. You have to have it here in your heart, you have to have it here in your brain, and together with your teammates, the common goal is to win. Things have changed in the major leagues. They're trying to make it more analytical. So analytics tell them, don't allow the starting pitcher to pitch to a batter more than twice a game. And then they bring in three or four specialists to finish off the game. So where one pitcher pitched the game, now you have five or six pitch in one game. So that changed the whole aspect of pitching. Now they need a lot of pitches. While many things go into winning a baseball or softball game, a significant part of the tradition is quality pitching in order to confuse hitters and win games. When you're six, seven years old, you join the Little League and you play t-ball. They put the ball on a tee and you swing and you hit it. And then finally they get to where the other children pitch against the other children. Then when you get to be 12 or 13 years old, a pitching machine throws the ball straight. There's no machine that throws a knuckleball. There's no machine that throws a slider. There's no machine that throws a curveball. There's no machine that throws a drop. There's no machine that throws a changeup. You have to understand, everybody hits fastball. You can't throw it fast enough that the good hitter is not gonna hit it. That's an advantage to a pitcher, to having a variety of pitches that he can throw and confuse the batter. Learning where to place your fingers and where to apply pressure on the ball to create the necessary spin and movement on pitches could take years without proper training. The Red Ball Pitch Movement Trainer was designed to make the process of learning to pitch child's play. With its unique numbering and peg system, the Red Ball PMT will help pitchers of all levels learn to throw a variety of pitches easily. During my lifetime, I've played, coached, managed, umpired, and was involved in every phase of the game. Years ago, when I started giving pitching lessons, I would put duct tape around the ball, one stripe, so I could see the rotation of the ball. When you throw a curved ball, it turns that way. So if you put duct tape on the ball, you can see the ball turn that way. Matter of fact, some balls, I would have magic marker, made a red stripe. It was a way to get instant feedback. So I did that for many years. I learned early on that spin had a lot to do with a lot of things. This knowledge was in my head, and I was trying to get people to understand that. I had to come up with a way to make it easier for them. So that's when I started with the screws in the ball. Then I didn't like that, so I hammered in mollies and put screws into the mollies. And then I said, well, you can't put your hand against the screw, you're gonna cut your fingers. So then I got pencil erasers, I cut out the eraser of the pencil and glued them on put the screw all the way into the ball, and now they had the racer head to push against. And then I said, I'll put a red stripe down the middle. So this way, you can see the rotation. And that's how it happened. It wasn't something I planned, believe me. It was just something I said, I have to make this easy for people. This was never a commercial idea. I did it because I had an idea that I thought was worth following through. I did it because I loved the game. In my mind, it's a tribute to some people. My father, and a tribute to my wife because my wife believed in me. I'm not an inventor. I want to help people learn the game. Learning how to pitch is as easy as ABC123 with the Red Ball PMT. To learn more, visit theredballpmt.com.